Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT, is the art and science of collecting and analyzing information from publicly available sources. Everything from websites and social media to public records and online databases. There's no hacking involved here, just smart, resourceful searching and connecting the dots using what's already out there. Think of OSINT as digital detective work, where you piece together clues scattered across the vast open internet, much like a modern-day Sherlock Holmes. A phone number is far more than just a random string of digits. It's a unique identifier that's used for everything from social media accounts and online banking to shopping, messaging apps, and even loyalty programs. Every time you use your phone number, you leave behind a digital breadcrumb, tiny traces that, when followed, can reveal a surprising amount about the owner's identity, habits, and online presence. Investigating a phone number is a core OSINT skill, essential for identifying unknown callers, verifying clients or business contacts, or checking out suspicious buyers and sellers online. Whether you're trying to protect yourself from scams, avoid spam calls, or you're simply curious about a missed call, OSINT techniques can help you uncover the truth behind any number. In this guide, we'll walk you through step-by-step -step methods to investigate a phone number, starting with the most basic searches and gradually moving on to more advanced, specialized tools and techniques. We'll explore how to use search engines, phone number lookup services, social media platforms, and a variety of other online resources to gather information. But with this powerful knowledge comes great responsibility. Always make sure to stay within legal and ethical boundaries when conducting your research. We'll discuss where those lines are and how to ensure your investigations remain both safe and ethical. The goal is simple, to provide you with a clear, beginner-friendly roadmap to mastering phone number intelligence, no matter your experience level. So, are you ready to follow the digital breadcrumb trail and unlock the secrets hidden behind a phone number? Let's get started. Before you start, know the boundaries. OSINT is about public info only. Never hack, fish, or access private data. That's illegal and carries real consequences. This guide sticks to open sources, and so should you. Ethics matter as much as laws. Use OSINT for legitimate reasons, protecting yourself, preventing fraud, or due diligence. Never use findings to harass, stalk, or harm anyone. Respect privacy, even when investigating. Laws vary by country and state. Know your local rules before you begin. Ignorance isn't a defense. Understand regulations like GDPR, call recording laws and anti-harassment statutes. Handle sensitive info with care. Don't share it publicly or misuse it. Use findings only for your original, legitimate purpose. Integrity is the mark of a responsible investigator. The intent behind your actions defines whether you're right or wrong. When it comes to open source intelligence or OSINT, the simplest and most accessible tool at your disposal is a search engine, whether it's Google, Bing, or DuckDuckGo. These platforms are the gateways to a vast world of information, and knowing how to use them effectively can make all the difference in your investigations. To begin, try searching the phone number directly. Use quotation marks around the number for exact matches. This tells the search engine to look for that precise sequence of digits, which can help filter out unrelated results. Don't stop at just one format. Enter the phone number with dashes, parentheses, or as a continuous string of digits. Websites and databases display numbers in many different ways, so experimenting with formats increases your chances of finding a match. Your search might reveal the number on business directories, personal blogs, online resumes, or even in forum discussions. Each result could provide valuable context or new leads. If you uncover a name, username, or even an email address connected to the number, use that as your next search term. This process of pivoting from one clue to another is a core skill in OSINT investigations. Treat every new clue as a fresh starting point. Each piece of information you find can open up new avenues for research and lead you closer to your goal. Remember to explore beyond the main search results. Check the images, news, and shopping tabs for additional context, photos, or recent mentions that might not appear in standard web results. Sometimes, a phone number is hidden in unexpected places, like a classified ad image, a social media post, or buried within a news article. These sources can provide crucial context or even direct contact information. For deeper results, combine the phone number with relevant keywords, locations, or use site-specific searches. This helps narrow down your results to the most relevant pages. For example, 
searching 1 in 23 456 7890 site twitter.com will focus your search on twitter making it easier to find social media mentions or posts linked to that number every search you perform is another opportunity to uncover a new piece of the puzzle OSINT is all about connecting these pieces to form a bigger picture. Mastering the use of search engines is truly the foundation of effective phone number OSINT. With practice, you'll become faster and more accurate at finding hidden information. And best of all, this powerful step is completely free, so don't overlook it. Harness the full potential of search engines to kickstart your OSINT journey. Next, use reverse phone lookup sites specialized tools for identifying phone number owners. Sites like White Pages, Zabasearch, and Truecaller offer free basic info carrier, type, and general location. Sometimes you'll get a name, age, or city, enough to pivot your search. Always verify results with another source. Data can be outdated or inaccurate. Use multiple lookup sites and cross-check findings. Free info is usually enough for beginners. Avoid paid reports unless necessary. Be cautious with sites that require credit cards for free trials. Stick to truly free options first. Treat lookup results as leads, not facts. Use new names or locations to continue your investigation elsewhere. Reverse lookup sites are a quick way to gather initial clues. Use them wisely and move on. Social media is a goldmine. Many platforms link accounts to phone numbers. Search the number directly on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Profiles may appear if privacy settings allow. Use forgot password features to reveal partial emails or profile pictures. Don't reset anything, just observe. LinkedIn can connect a number to a professional identity, job title, and network. Context matters. A number tied to a CEO tells a different story than one linked to a freelancer. Don't forget older or niche platforms. MySpace, Twitter, or forums may still have public info. Use search engines with site to target specific platforms. Every profile found adds context and new clues. Look for usernames, photos, and bios to pivot your search. Social media can quickly turn a phone number into a full digital profile. Be thorough, but respect privacy. Each discovery brings you closer to the full picture. Messaging apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, and Signal are tied to phone numbers. Use this to your advantage. Save the number in your contacts, then check if it appears in your messaging apps. Profile pictures, usernames, and status messages can reveal identity or interests. WhatsApp's About or Telegram's public username are valuable clues. Reverse image search profile photos for more info. Telegram often reveals more. Public groups and channels can show interests or affiliations. Use discovered usernames to search other platforms. Always protect your own identity. Use a burner phone or anonymous account if needed. Remember, saving a number may expose your profile to the target. OPSEC matters. Don't reveal yourself during the investigation. Messaging apps can provide instant visual identification. Use them carefully and ethically. Data breaches are common, and breached databases can be valuable for OSINT. A phone number in a breach may link to usernames, emails, or sites used. Use Have I Been Pawned and similar public breach search tools to check exposure. Discovering a number in a breach can reveal interests, platforms, or new aliases. For example, a breach from a fitness app suggests the owner's hobbies. Use found usernames to search forums or social media. Only use publicly accessible breach data, never seek or trade private leaks. The goal is to find clues, not access private info. Breach data is a signpost, not a destination. Use it to pivot your investigation, not to invade privacy. Always stay within legal and ethical boundaries. Breach info can be a powerful lead, handle it responsibly. People search engines like Pipple and Spokeo, aggregate data from across the web, building detailed profiles. They connect phone numbers to names, emails, social media, relatives, and more. These tools automate the process of linking clues, saving time and revealing hidden connections. Even limited free results can show which platforms a number is linked to. Use these engines to bridge gaps. Link a number to a username, then to a real name. Many are paid services, but free previews can still be useful. Treat results as leads, not facts. Always verify elsewhere. People search engines are powerful, but use them ethically and legally. They can turn scattered data into a clear digital identity. Use them to connect the final dots in your investigation. 
Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. We've covered the essentials of phone number OSINT, from using search engines to exploring people search aggregators and specialized databases. Each tool and technique we discussed is a piece of the puzzle, helping you uncover valuable information step by step. Each step builds on the last, creating a clearer picture with every clue you find. Sometimes, a single detail can open up a whole new direction for your investigation. The real skill is thinking like an investigator, curious, persistent, and creative. It's about asking the right questions, following leads, and not giving up when the path gets tough. Pivot from one clue to the next. A username might lead to a social media profile, that profile could reveal a real name, and that name might connect to even more data. Every piece of information can be a stepping stone. This chain of discovery is the heart of OSINT. It's a process of connecting dots, building context, and seeing the bigger picture emerge from small fragments. Tools will change, and new platforms will appear, but the investigative mindset is timeless. Adaptability and critical thinking are your greatest assets. Always respect legal and ethical boundaries. Never use this knowledge to harm, harass, or invade someone's privacy. Responsible investigation means knowing when to stop and always acting with integrity. Use OSINT to protect, verify, and seek truth for legitimate reasons. Whether you're helping someone recover lost information or verifying facts, your skills can make a positive impact. Not every number will yield results. Some trails go cold, and that's normal. Don't get discouraged. Every investigation is a learning experience. Keep learning, stay updated with the latest tools and trends, and always act responsibly. The digital landscape is constantly evolving, so continuous education is key. The digital world is full of clues. Now you have the map to find them. Use your skills wisely, and remember that with great power comes great responsibility. Good luck on your investigative journey. Stay curious, stay ethical, and keep pushing the boundaries of your knowledge.